Cheyenne. Y'all having a good time tonight? Come on now, I'll try that again. Cheyenne, are you having a good time tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our fifth bout of the evening, staying under boxing rules. It is set for three two-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting of the dynamic mortgage concepts, red corner, please welcome Umberto Pozos. Umberto Pozos making his way to the cage for this, a 145-pound boxing match. Amateur fight, so we stay with the three two-minute rounds. Mr. Pozos, 27 years old, equal to his opponent, Stephen Lontine, in the age. A little bit taller as Pozos at 5'9", versus Lontine's 5'6". Debut for Potos. Lists himself as a boxer versus the listed as freestyle fighter, Lontine, who comes in with a 1-0 record. Although it's only one more fight than his opponent, that, uh, that bridge between zero fights versus having made the walk to the cage once, that can make a lot of difference. Mr. Pozo is a representative of House of Pain East. Facing off against Lawn Tyne, representing a family affair boxing. And his opponent. Fighting out of the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner, please welcome Steve Lonte. Lontine makes his way to the cage for his second time in a boxing bout. Referee Oscar Martinez making sure there's no horseshoes in the gloves. What a nice fair bout. And Lontine into the cage. Blue gloves for Lontine. Red gloves for Pozos. Ladies and gentlemen, this boxing bout is brought to you by ATR Training Systems. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Aurora, Colorado, representing House of Pain East, Umberto Pistol Pozos. And his opponent, fighting out of the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner, from Denver, Colorado, representing a family of fair boxing, Steve Lonte. All right, guys, boxing rules. I expect good, clean, fair fight. Keep your punches clean above the belt and touch them up, and let's get it on. Lontine in the blue gloves. Pozos in the red gloves. Eric Hines wearing the black gloves. Three two-minute rounds. Here we go. Lawn team throwing with some power. Oh, 
Monteen comes in nicely with the left hook and might be able to hear his corners. Coach is happy about that punch. Corner of Pozos asking him to please go forward. Right hook for Pozos. Montine answers back off the cage. Toe to toe they go. Good action for the fans. Nice uppercut at the end of that combination by Lontine. Corner of Lontine calling for body work. Lontine doing a nice job of not letting Pozos use his height and reach advantage. Lontine able to bridge that gap, get in there, throw some flurries, always working in combinations, then back himself out. Nice four or five punch combination there again by Lontine. Second clacker. Pozos rocked backward just about a half a step by Lontine there right at the end of the round. See what kind of advice the corner men have for their wards. Pozos now using the stool, looks pretty calm. Appears to be in good shape as well. No deep or labored breathing coming out of the red corner. Lontine also foregoing use of the stool. I was able to catch being over near the corner of Pozos was they want more combinations. So quit throwing just one. See if he listens and Lontine immediately pressures forward. Power shots by Lontine, not afraid to step in and engage. Corner of Lontine helping him find his range. Tell him they don't want him too far back. Sound advice. Pozos stepping into the range of Lontine, not using his longer limbs to his advantage as much as he could be. Again with the uppercut is Lontine. Not sure what happened. Warning for having grabbed the back of the head. So no dirty boxing. In MMA, you can hold your opponent and hit them. In boxing, not so much. Just a separation of the fighters. Fewer than 10 seconds left. Looks like crowd's gonna get a round three out of this one. Lontine able to step forward right toward the end of the round.
Impressed by the conditioning of both these fighters. Nobody needing a stool, nobody with real labored breathing. Still have a lot of crispness in their techniques. Footwork looks good. These guys have put in their gym time, no doubt about that. A lot of shadow boxing going on over in the corner of Pozos. Couldn't hear what they were saying, but I think basically it translates to let's move your hands some more. Round three. In the corner of Pozos, imploring him to pressure forward. Lontine switching his stance back and forth. He's done that a couple times in this fight. His corner was happy with it earlier, saying that it was confusing his opponent. I tell you, Pozos looks very composed for a debut fighter. Lontine, only one fight in his boxing career. Also looking like a more seasoned fighter than his record would indicate. Lontine seems to have a good read on his opponent now. Starting to predict a bit where his opponent's going to be. Thirty seconds left in the fight. Corner of Lontine calling for a knockout. Lontine looking like he hurt him. Ten seconds left in the fight. And good toe-to-toe -to -toe action to finish the fight. Nice work by both gentlemen. Doc is given a once over for both fighters. Everybody appears healthy. Lontine, I can't quite see on his shirt. It looks like maybe a tribute shirt. Maybe fighting for the memory of someone, possibly. Mo has the word. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to your judge's scorecard for your decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27, declaring your winner by a unanimous decision, Steve Lonte. Congratulations to the fighter out of a family affair boxing. Steve Lontine goes home with the unanimous decision victory. Get a word from our sponsors. Be right back. Have a little more boxing action up next.